the past 32 years of the Fourth Republic have witnessed the most sustained period of stability and economic growth in our country. And we should be proud of what we have achieved and seek to protect and build on it. And that is why the theme for the 67th Independence Anniversary Celebration on 6th March in Kufuridia is our democracy, our pride. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to report on the progress we're making in the administration of justice. This past year, a total of 76 judges and magistrates were appointed. They comprised the new Chief Justice, two new justices of the Supreme Court, 23 new High Court judges, 29 Circuit Court judges, and 21 new magistrates. 262 staff were recruited to address some of the human resource gaps created because of the newly established courts throughout the country. In January 2024, three additional justices have been appointed to the Supreme Court to replace three justices who have retired from the court. We've made unprecedented progress in the provision of court buildings and residences for judges around the country. In 2020, government set out to construct 120 courthouses with residential facilities nationwide. As of 31st January 2024, 67 courthouses had been successfully inaugurated and are in use at various sites around the country. 12 completed projects have been stated for inauguration by the end of this month of February 2024. The remaining 21 projects are at various stages of completion and are expected to be completed and inaugurated before May 2024. In addition, 121 residential units have been constructed for judges throughout the country. Further, 20 fully furnished four-bedroom units, together with social amenities, have been constructed for justices of the Court of Appeal in Kumasi. The project is not yet complete, but we have done enough to be able to say that we have resolved the problem of the disgraceful state of court building. The attention now is to the digitalization process of the courts to modernize the entire system. The judicial service is undertaking a digitalization initiative to modernize legal operations and foster greater access to justice. A virtual court system was introduced during the COVID-19 pandemic to ensure the continuity of business. The virtual court system was also rolled out to 17 courts and subsequently to 19 high courts for the smooth hearing of court cases. By the end of December 2023, 160 courts had been equipped with devices for the real-time transcription of cases, in addition to 51 courts piloting the paperless court system in Accra. The integration of real-time transcription devices in 160 courts has revolutionized the way in court proceedings are recorded and documented. The service is rolling out a comprehensive digitalization of the court system. The Attorney General has continued in a very effective manner the tradition under this administration of contesting every single litigation against the state and has avoided the numerous judgment debts that used to be given against the state. The Office of the Attorney General, as a result, has saved the country over 10 trillion Ghana cities. All the evidence is there. I shall be performing a pleasant duty in a few weeks' time when I commission the law house, the 12-story office building 
which will house the offices of the Attorney General and the Ministry, and finally bring to an end the age-old office accommodation problem. I must declare a personal interest in it, as the building was started when I was Attorney General in the government of President John Ajakum Kufour back in 2001.